So there needs to be a plan. There needs to be a purpose. What do you want to do with all of these? I mean, the Lord is not worried about 1 million, 10 million, 100 million. The number is not impressing Him. The only thing that's impressing Him is you. Is what is your growth? What is your character? What is your integrity? What are you living for? Because He's not in the depression. He can give every person any amount of money. The problem is that we are not... Uh, 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 trustworthy and faithful with God's money. Let me tell you one thing. It is not an issue to become a millionaire. I could become a millionaire like that. The issue is, are you trustworthy to handle the million? I knew what it is. I remember the first day I had a million in my hand. I tell you, that money spoke to me like never before. Do you know money speak to you? I mean, uh, that was not my million, it was another person's million. But you know, the moment that million is in your hand, you think, yes man, I can do this, I can do this. You see opportunities everywhere, yeah. what a million can do. <laughs> and then, then you need to control yourself in your character, that this is not my money. Mm -hmm. What was the agreement? I need to stick to the agreement. That is what it is all about. Because money talks and most people cannot handle the talking of money. Because the, the voice of money are far bigger than the voice of God concerning their own life. That's the problem. They don't know the voice of the kingdom in their life. Therefore, when money comes, they're running after the money. Show me your bank account and I'll tell you where you worship. Your bank account shows me what is valuable for you. Because you spend your money in what is valuable. Why all people? You don't spend money on things that you don't think is valuable. What is valuable is your worship. Where do you spend your money? And that's the biggest problem. Is unfortunately, is the person called by your own name. You're not your own enemy. I'm not believing that. But you are the biggest project you need to work on. Is to sort out your own thoughts concerning yourself. You need clarity about who you are. That's the whole secret. I've, I've, I've had a thousand people through the Money Wise course. And I've seen every person that broke out. Mm -hmm. money wise it's got one thing in their lives they could come to me and, and, and that's the first thing that we do in money wise tell me who are you tell me, show me your biography from birth to death yeah, but what do I, you know how well, can you ask me that well I ask you that because it's already in heaven ask the Lord he will tell you what you must do, what you must live and where you must go and you must find out, you must get clarity about who you are and what are you supposed to live. Because that plan is financed, it's sponsored. And if you've got clarity, the moment people got clarity about themselves, their own identity, everything just exploded in their lives. They never went to make money in the sense of, you know, they pursue riches. They never pursued riches. They pursued the kingdom. And then the money started to flow into their lives. Uh, into financial freedom. I can tell you stories that will... Because the thing is in the inside. It's a flow that's already in you, but it must become a flow outside of you through your mind, through your thinking, through your words that you speak and how you perceive life and how you perceive your own life. That is, that is, that is the importance. So money is never our motive, but it is definitely uh, a goal. But the goal needs a purpose. Why do you need 3,000, 3 million or whatever? What's the purpose? You must have clarity on it. Uh, because otherwise the Lord will, <laughs> will prevent you from having that if you are really a believer. Because He will not, he will not allow you to go down with money. Um, you and me are already qualified for the kingdom. We are already qualified to live this money thing. But we need to go through a process that's called discipleship where I where I allow God to, to cultivate me in my character, in my plan, in my motives, in my emotional reactions. Because the market is nothing else than emotion. 100% emotions. And if you get into the market and your emotions is not under control, let me tell you, um, not to brag, but I thought my emotions was very, very much under control. But when I started to trade, I found out my emotions are not 100% under control. That's true. I mean, I, I, the, the, this market started to talk to me, you know, in terms of the positive and the negative. And, and, and it was a good exercise for me to, 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 to keep on with the trading until I said, Lord, and that, that's where I lost my money. It's because 
you get emotional, you start to trade emotional, and not according to the, 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 the indicators that's, that's not lying to you. You get emotional, you, 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 you become angry with yourself that you've now just lost so much money, you know, and you could have done and you thought you would have done this and, you know, and, and then you find out, you know, I'm not emotionally maybe so sorted out as I thought, you know. <laughs> so it was a good school for me because it challenged you unto your core. Uh, and I find lots of people say, no man, I'm no, you know, this is too much for me. No, you must find yourself the way that, that there's different types of trading, the way that's for you the best. Okay, um, money is from God, it's good, you must, it's the love of money, that's the process. Uh, and then at the end of the day, if, if it's all about identity, I just want to quickly speak about identity. It, we must understand that all problems in life finds its, its origin in a lack of identity, wrong identity or no identity. All problems. You cannot put for me a problem on the table that does not originate out of the identity thing. Wrong identity, no identity or, or a negative identity of everything. And, uh, and uh, okay, so, so, so the, the change of life only starts, you will see there, it's, it's finding your identity, and out of your identity you find values in life. You find your value. And then out of your values you find the principles. And then out of the principles there's obedience plus discipline. It becomes habits and then the lifestyle. Most people start change of life by the principle. Okay, it's a good principle not to spend money on uh, like too much uh, sugar drinks. That's a good principle. But it's very difficult to apply it with with, with soul self discipline you know but you need to go back beyond principle there is values what is your value you must get the value on your life you must see the value that you are busy destroying by maybe drinking something that is not good for you just see the reason behind it go even further back to identity and see what you were called for and the bigger purpose and the greater thing and then then at the end of the day you will see, no man, I mean this is not even an option. You, you get motivation by going back to your identity and what are your real values. But we, we don't hear change, especially in church, from there. We hear it from, you know, it's wrong, it's wrong, you need to, it's a wrong principle, so get a good principle. There are principles in the Bible, but life change does not start at principles. That is self-discipline. Mm. It can work, but it normally does not work. You must go back to values. Uh, values is what is valuable for you. The way you treat a woman, let me stay with you, and the way you handle your wife will tell me what is your value upon a woman. Because you cannot hide it. The way you speak, the way you deal with them, it's a value. A value is something that's underlying your lifestyle. It's not just something in the air. You can have a principle. You can decide on a camp, I'm no longer going to swear to my wife. As a principle, you go home, something happens, then you swear again. Why? Because it's not yet an internalized principle that became a value. You know, the principle is not wrong, but it, it must be internalized and exercised and, and into your life as a value. But it's easy to get it when you start at identity and you see the enormous value and plan that's upon your life. Then, then, as the Bible says, you know, the satisfied fight soul loathes the honeycomb. You walk past the honey of the world and you just say to yourself, I don't worry about that. Because what I am and what I live is so beautiful. I don't, I don't fall for the honey of the world. Uh, because it, there's something better that I am living for. It is not, you know, okay, other people have got a nice car, but I do not have, you know, so, but I need to discipline myself not to desire a nice car. No, it's not the right way. Uh, I mean, nice is nice, beautiful is beautiful, since when it's not beautiful. I mean, a beautiful car is a beautiful car. You must decide and find out from God what you must drive, when you must drive it, and what is good in terms of your budget at the end of the day. Okay. I'm not going to go on, but we need to get to the point of financial freedom in our lives. Let's just um, quickly go on there with the identity. We've got the spirit identity in our lives. Uh, the, the financial problem is not a money problem. The financial problem is a personal identity problem. 
That's why people are so, they've got such a low rate of success in terms of conquering money. If you try to conquer money, you will fail. Because you, you, it's, you, you must conquer yourself. The moment you conquer yourself, the money that's in you will come, will come out of you. You are the biggest person that you need to conquer in this world. It's not the devil. The devil is already conquered. Forget about him. It's you. It's, it's, it's get clarity about who you are. And, and saying to yourself, you know, in the next five years, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to try to do this. I'm going to do it. You know, when I speak to people at MoneyWise, I ask them, what is your next step? They say, you know, I, I just wish we could have a house, you know, we're staying in a flat, you know, with three children, and I wish we, I wish we could have, we will see if we can get a flat, and we will, we will look into the possibility. I said, you will not have a, you will not have a house. Then they shot you now. How can you? I mean, you're supposed to motivate me. I said, you will not have an house because this is an option for you. It's not like I'm going to buy a house. That's it. Tell me, number one, do you think it's the best thing to live in a flat five stories high with three children, you know, that is five, six years old and it's very nice? No, it's not very nice. So get out of it. Get out of it. Get yourself a house. Go and look for a house. Yeah, but, but our money and our budget, forget about the money and the budget, get a house. I mean, if I had to look at my budget in my life, I would never have bought one house. I would never afford one house. And I bought multiple of them. Because I went on the voice of the Lord and the green light. Because if He said I can buy a house, I'll get a house. I'll make a plan how to get it. I'll persuade a bank and, and I'll do something. And every time the green light was there, I could buy a house. Without qualifying, not once. Till up till today. Because it's, it is not the bank that's the issue. It's me that's the issue. It's for me to believe it. I just arrive and I tell them. I, I, I come to get the loan. You know, they say, but you, you're very bold. Yeah, I'm very bold. I'm the best client around here. Because I don't fail on my payments. <laughs> yeah, but your, your salary, I don't worry about my salary. I don't fail on my payments. Look at my bank account. You know, and at the end of the day, I, 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 I promote myself. I don't promote my salary. I promote myself. Because I know I'm trustworthy. I know what I can do. I know what the Lord has told me. And I've got confidence concerning myself. I'm not part of the sin gospel where I'm just this, this worthless, sinful sinner doing nothing, getting nowhere and having nothing and whatever. No, that's, that's, that's the sin gospel. It's not the gospel. The gospel of the kingdom that Jesus brought to us is a gospel that's of value. It brought back your value. It brought back your kingdom. It brought back your authority. It brought back your plan, your mandate, your future. It brought back and the Lord says, stand up in what I brought to you. I've given you to mankind this world. Come, stand up and do something that will make me, that will make me, you. no one do something that, that uh, isn't positive in himself. I've made a study of the 1% people in the world. There's only one thing that makes them different than other people. They are enormously positive about themselves. When you ask them why you're here, one sentence. No doubt. Absolute clarity. What are you going to live? That is it. Are you going to live it? Of course I'm going to live it. I'm not going to try. I'm, I'm doing it. I'll turn over every stone to do it. Because it's not an experiment. My life is not an experiment to try to reach some success. I am the success. I'm just flowing out of the success. I'm not trying to achieve success. I'm just releasing success. My thinking is success. Everything is success. Therefore they spent lots of money on themselves educating themselves and then at the end of the day they live it and then they make a lot of money but it starts with being positive about yourself and it's not a positive thinking thing Jesus, God is positive about you I mean the reason why you're here today and you open up your eyes this morning is because you are still here for a purpose you've got something to do otherwise you won't be here do you know why you wake up this morning? For what do you wake up? Do you love it? I mean, are you looking forward to it? Or are you worried about the money? Where the money will come from? You must start to learn, understand that the Lord will always force you to live in the red. But not in the credit card rate. His plan will always be bigger than what your budget is currently all about. Always, always, always. Make peace with red in your life. Because it's a way of making you dependent upon Him. 
and reaching out to Him and stretching out into life and say, Lord, I must go more forward. I must progress more in life. Okay, so this is all about identity. Um, money takes the shape that according to what is in your heart. Uh, uh, never allow money to impress you more than what you are impressed with yourself. You must get at a place where you are more impressed. Remember you as you sit here are of more value than all, all, all the money and assets in this whole world. All the money and the assets in the whole world. Your life is more worthy than that. Only the blood of Jesus could pay for you. You are precious because you were bought with the precious blood of Jesus. Even though you were in a sinner state, you were still precious. Because you were a human being with a spirit. And God redeemed you out of that situation. You're now a redeemed, righteous person. Live that life. Live something that's of worthy. Live something that people will say, man, this is beautiful. I mean, do something. When people enter your world, in the, and, and when they leave, they don't admire your world. You're not living your world. It doesn't say they must become you, because we're all different. But people must be able to enter your world in terms of how you speak, how you live, what you do, and they must admire it. They say, man, this is beautiful. I want to live like this. Because this is, this is enjoyable at the end of the day. Okay, so I just want to close off quickly here. Uh, uh, let's take one of these. Uh, with the, uh, there are four ways of trading. And... Uh, the first one is called huddle. Hold on for dear life. Huddling. These people, they think in a time frame of years. They buy a crypto like a pension and they say in five years time I will maybe even look again at it, you know. And, and on average, on average, let me tell you, I believe in the type of market we are in in the moment. I believe for every 30,000, more or less, that you can put in the market at the moment, will become a million in two years' time. That's what we are in at the moment. Every 30,000 that you put in hodling will become a million in two years' time. It is it's inevitable if you put it in a good coin. Even much more. But I think that is, the, that is my estimation in what I've seen in the market over, over the time I've been there. And then the, the, the second one, is the investor the, the, in, uh, the investor the investor thinks in a time frame of months uh, invest money you know the, 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 the market has got a flow they, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> the highs are not every day and every week or whatever they're looking for a high it's in a few months time then they deal with it then, then we've got a, a day trader or a swing trader. Uh, a swing of a day trader, that's more or less what, what uh, uh, Wayne will tell you all about. Uh, they think in terms of days, like one to seven days more or less normally. Uh, when you can't determine the market, the market has got its own flow. But I think in terms of days, they're doing trades in terms of days. Uh, he will show you that. The fourth one is what we call uh, scalping. These people trade in terms of minutes. They trade in terms of minutes. Now the interesting thing here is to understand, just to, it's very important that you need to understand it. The lower you go, the more risky it becomes. The more pressure is on you. The more uh, spannen, what is it? Tension and uh, pressure, because you need to sit there. You know, it's like you, it, it is. You, you don't you don't do swing trading if you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> because you're most probably going to lose your money. <laughs> so the more the lower you go down, the more pressure it is. So the more you go for a long swing and a longer time frame, the the more you can do. On average, listen here. On average, most people, the people that's doing on average the most are number one, the hodlers. So even though you can only open up your account and hodl for a year or two, you will make a lot of money. They're not the people that necessarily make the most of money, but on average they make the most of money. The people that make the most money is people down here, the three and the four. Uh, 
Uh, if, if you can conquer it, you know, but, but at least if you don't do it, you must understand the market and thus understand the, the graphs and everything what's happening, uh, even though you do hodling, because you, 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 somewhere you need to get out of the market to materialize your profit, otherwise there's no profit. So you need to understand the, the whole, the things that one is going to learn you about the graphs and when to, and what and so forth. And you need to understand that the, uh, 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 the, the, the what is it, the company that's coming now into, into crypto, they do, they do the hodling, the long term thing. And they're coming in with big, big money. 90% of the market is, is at the moment these people, the number one people. It's interesting, 90% of the market. They're actually determining the thing, uh, what's going on. The big money is in number one. But you can make money as an investor over months, over days, and, and even as, as, as swing traders. I want to close off by just telling you what I, what I wrote down there, what crypto taught me. You must respect crypto for who she is. Crypto is like a woman. <laughs> uh, she can be very volatile and very emotional. <laughs> but the most important thing is not to accuse her because she's going to go away. <laughs> but you need to get to learn her for who she is. That's very important. You know, the most degrading thing is for people to make you something and force you to become something that's not you. It's not your flow. It's not what you are. And, and crypto is it's, it's having its flow according to all the people in the world that's doing trading on the market. But you need to respect it. It is not like, you know, God, I will pray and then it will happen, you know. Um, it's not working. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> next spot somewhere. So it's not like, you know, God is on your side and you can pray the market into whatever. You must respect crypto for what crypto is. If you respect crypto, the crypto will give you a lot back. But it is not for you to come and dominate crypto. You must, it is like a marriage. You need to learn the person, who the person is that you married. And you need to, 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 to help develop what is in this person. If this person is not a, you know, a person that's meticulously on detail and whatever, you can't force her there. It's not a life. You must learn who she is and help her to become who she already is. You must respect the thing or the person for what the person is. It, you can't dominate her to there. You can't dominate crypto to go in a certain way. Uh, it, will not, it will not happen. But you can discern tendencies and, uh, uh, tendency, yeah, tendencies and runs and whatever. It's possible to, 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 to discern it. But it's very important that... Uh, it will be for you a school of life. Expect that you will fail. It is it's part of life. Be positive about it. You don't. You will learn to forgive yourself. And, and it's very essential. You must learn to forgive yourself. Whatever happened in life, whatever, even though it's not even crypto, you must learn to cut the line and say, okay, this deal is now gone. It's now over. It's the past. It, it's, it's out of my mind. What have I learned out of it? Learn something and go on. Mm -hmm. And not hanging on in the past. Because the moment you're hanging on in the past, it's like the fear is creeping in uh, after you. Be patient. If you have ever learned patience, crypto will teach you patience. Uh, don't Especially expect the, the market. <laughs> uh -huh. Especially the last nine months. <laughs> uh, but it's part of the thing. Nothing is just happening overnight. Yes, sometimes it can happen. But we talk about, you know, making 40x, but that was in a two-year frame. Don't expect to make one day, you know, uh, yes, I've made one day 75,000 on a trade. Believe it or not, I thought that was, yes, man, was what wonderful. And then the next day I lost 100,000. Uh, so you get both sides, let me tell you. Because I didn't respect crypto for who crypto is. You know, I want... I want to push the maximum out of her. You can't push the maximum out of her. When you have made something, you are happy. Then you look to the graph afterwards and say, but I could have made three times more. Forget about it. You have made something. Be grateful. Be grateful. You have made something. You can never make the maximum. It's impossible because no one knows where is the maximum. Better be safe than just running after the, the ultimate. There is not the ultimate in crypto. Just make something and go forward at the end of the day. Okay, uh, get your emotions out of the way.
and really everyone can do it and everyone can live, can live with it and you can make a good life out of it. It's possible, but you will need to educate yourself. Uh, you need to educate yourself. The market is there, the money is there, but you need to educate yourself. <laughs> it's not... I mean, the, the easiest way is to just get in and huddle. That's easy. But the more you go down, you need to know more in how to do it. But because everyone is going there and it is the system of the future, it is the bank of the future and the everything of the future, get in it now and you will never look back. Never, never look back. Okay, any questions?